getting into racing of any form isn't exactly easy or cheap. But if you're talking about motorcycles, there's one way that's simple and fun that won't break the bank. That way is pocket bike racing. The first thing you might ask is, what exactly is a pocket bike? Well, basically, it's the most performance you can jam into one tiny package of a motorcycle. But just because these bikes look like toys doesn't mean that they don't allow their riders to tear it up on the track. So, to see firsthand all that pocket bike racing has to offer, I met up with the folks from the Capital Region Pocket Bike Racing Association and the Tri-State Mini Moto Racing Club at Sandy Hook Raceway in Street, Maryland. Small, powerful, and fun, pocket bikes have exploded in popularity over the past few years, with racing organizations and tracks popping up all over the country. Race weekends are the model of a laid-back atmosphere, with competitors and spectators attending more for the fun and camaraderie than serious competition, even though there still is racing going on here. Bikes range from entry-level, air-cooled two-stroke beginner rides that make about six to eight horsepower to full-out water-cooled race bikes that punch out 15 horsepower or more. Now, that might not sound like much, but keep this in mind. These bikes only weigh about 40 pounds, so that's a serious power-to-weight ratio, enabling a race prep bike to rocket to speeds of about 60 miles per hour. That's pretty fast when you're only five inches off the ground. Don't think you're ready yet? Don't worry, there's a racing class for every skill level. We have a numerous classes of racing today for uh, juniors and adults, and pretty much anybody who can bend can pocket bike race. Uh, I think that they start as, as young as seven, and we have guys uh, in our 50s, like myself, who, who are still doing it, and it's, it's great. It's a real rush. Most of the bikes are water-cooled, they have a radiator, uh, you can adjust everything, the gearing, the carburetor, um, and their performance. You can tweak the frame a little. There's different compound tires you can get. Uh, it's, it's like racing a real bike, but just on a smaller scale. Sometimes we have whole families. The wife races also. Everyone is extremely helpful. If, if I need a part, um, I could ask any of these guys, and they would give me a part. One team that truly makes pocket bike racing a family affair are the Delisandros. Not only do siblings Austin and Lindsay mix it up on the track, mom and dad hold down the pits. Yeah, it's really a family sport. We got basically everyone here except for a couple people are all in a family. So it's, you know, it's nice to be out here with friends and family and just get out here and ride. I don't know. It's just, it's a thrill. My dad takes us to all the races. It's me and my brother normally. And sometimes my mom will come and my friends, they love it. They want to ride, but their parents won't let them, so they kind of get a feel for the sport through me and everything. It's it's pretty gratifying. I mean, I, I you know, I didn't race motorcycles, but I've been around them my whole life, and uh, I have a big bike, and it's just fun to watch them get out there and tear it up and have fun. And that's exactly what it's all about, getting out there, making some friends, and having some fun. It's no wonder this form of racing is catching on. This is a great step, great gateway into road racing. It's kind of the first step. It's a lot cheaper than any of the big bike races that you'll attend. A typical race day for us may run you up to $100 if you have to buy some parts, but typically your race fees are about $50 and then whatever you want to bring for food. So it's really economical in terms of racing. With beginner bikes selling for about $300 brand new, pocket bike racing can fit almost anyone's budget. If you're really serious, though, plan to drop a few grand for a truly bad bike. But after one day at the track, the payback and enjoyment far outshines the cost. So, if you want to have a huge amount of fun at less than Grand Prix prices, give pocket bike racing a try. You'll have the chance to go out and drag your knee with the best of them.